Good evening and welcome to you. Well, today England played their second match of the European Tour against Russia in the enormous Lenin Stadium. And what was in effect a friendly match took on a new significance after that shock defeat by Poland. It was necessary to restore confidence to that England uh, camp and also to find the kind of performance that would answer some of the critics. Well, we shall see the highlights of that match in just seconds from now, but I first want to introduce our two-man panel and a welcome back to Jackie Charlton, one of our regulars, and a welcome for the first time to Gordon Banks. Welcome, Gordon. Thank you, Eddie. Two weeks back from Australia with Stoke City. How many matches did you play over there? Well, we played 11 all told. I think I played in 10, you know, part of the game anyway. In and how did the eye stand up to it, Gordon? Um, well, it wasn't too bad, Dickie, but the thing was that the pressures aren't quite the same over there as they are here, so I've still got to wait, really, and see how it goes at the start of the season. But you're going back into training very soon, are you? Oh, yes, yes. Right, well, we shall have expert opinions from Jackie and also from Gordon right after the match, but now let's pick up the team caption and have a look at the teams here. First of all, Russia, and in goal, the mighty Rudakov. Number two is Oshlovsky. Number three, Kutsilava. Number four, Lovchev. Number five, Kaplichny. Number six, Kuznetsov. Number seven, Muntian. Number eight, Papayayev. Number nine, Andreasian. Number ten, Onyshenko. And number eleven, Blokin. And now the England side. Well, there are two changes from the team that were beaten in Poland. Out are Colin Bell and Alan Ball. And in come Mike Shannon and Tony Curry getting his uh, second cap. But now let's away to Moscow, to the Lenin Stadium, for the national anthems and then commentary from... Martin Chivers gets a feel of the ball. He didn't really play terribly well in Poland and there was some thought that he might be dropped for today's game, but both he and number 11 Martin Peters get in again. And so, of course, does Peter Shilton. Without doubt, England's number one goalkeeper at the moment. Well, we get underway then. The referee is Herr Rabel for East Germany. And England in the white shirts and black shorts defending the goal to our right. Russia in their famous red with white shorts and red stockings. Blocking couldn't quite keep that in, so England get a throw. That's Rudakov, the big, tall Russian goalkeeper. Curry coming in hard on his man again. Curry, of course penalised there, but I would uh, think it's a fair gamble that Sir Alf Ramsey might well be grooming uh, Tony Curry to take Alan Ball's place in the next World Cup game, the vital one against Poland, because of course it's likely that Ball will be suspended having been sent off in uh, Katowice on Wednesday. The Russians again now through Pape. And my goodness, Shilton only just had time to get in from that back pass from Martin Peters before Onyshenko was on him. Shannon back for Maisie. Crossed in again there. Rudakov is again there. And Rudakov very nearly made a serious mistake there. But the throw finds Onishenko. Rudakov, in fact, who had a very indifferent game in the European Championship final against West Germany in Brussels last summer. But he holds his place. It's with Blockin now, the new striking hope for Russia. Towards Andrasian. Back for Hurtzilava. 
Shannon cutting that one out. Curry neatly twisting past his man. And finding Clark. Bobby Moore. The ball for Hughes. Good little play there by Emlyn Hughes. The pass that finds Clark. Clark now with Peters away on the left for him. Here's Peters. Chivers in the middle and Shannon's coming in fast as well. Hughes going down the line for him. Chivers back for Peters again. That's better by England. And a shot by Peters this morning. Five minutes gone, no score. And in fact, we saw once or twice in the early part of the game after England conceded that goal in Poland. Some very useful build-up, but uh, very little when it came to shooting. Rudakov with the goal kick for Russia. McFarland poised beneath this one and getting a good header in. Chivers coming away from the defence to uh, find Story. Played on this time towards Channon and Clark. And now it's with Andrusian. A long ball forward and Onishenko is chasing it and Chilford judging it well. Now more. Shivers, Maidley, McFarlane, Tony Curry, only his second cap, he played against Northern Ireland last season when England were beaten at Wembley, trying to play a, find a way past Papayev, but England get the throw. Again, it'll be Martin Chivers. Again, Peters making that run towards the near post. And will he get there before Rudikoff? Well, the Russians are there in any case. Curry now trying to get the header in. But quite clearly outjumped by the Russian defender. Papagev to Onishenko. And he's gone past Maidley beautifully. But again, reading it well was Roy McFarland for England. And good play by McFarland finding Maidley. Story towards Chivers. Kaplichny. Kaplichny again. Kuznetsov. It's with Kuznetsov again. To Mutya. Had a lot of injury after the World Cup, but now he's found Hood to Lava. That's a good breaking shot by Hood to Lava. Well, he uh, loves to come forward in the Beckenbauer style, so they say here in Russia. And we saw it once or twice against West Germany last season. And here he picks up this ball with a lot of space. A good raking shot, but we'll see just how much off the mark he was. Going away all the time. Hutsilava. And a free kick to Russia. Lovchev to Papayev. Clark going hard at him, and finally uh, he was beaten by Curry. But Papayev again taking the return, and again Curry goes in at him and uh, beats him this time to find Chivers. Tony Curry again for England. Shannon, good strong challenge there by Hutsilava. Hughes, and again Hutsilava there. A bear like man in defence there for the Russians, and twice coming away with it. But now Storm. Rudikov, Shivers was always just on side and as the defender fell, 
A nice little flick by the Rudikov. 1 0 to England. So that'll make them feel an awful lot better in this grinding heat in Moscow. One nil ahead for Marty Chivers, who has the knack in the home internationals and now here in Moscow of scoring the goals that set England on the way. But this is a very good Russian side. They've gone a long way towards qualifying for the World Cup. they finished top of their group against France and the Republic of Ireland. Now have to beat Chile or Peru to decide if they go to Germany next season. And the Russians probably much more accustomed to this tremendous heat that we've got here. Shannon back again to Maidley. But really just the breakthrough that England wanted to lift their spirits, which have been so downcast since they arrived here from uh, Poland. McFarlane going in and with Maidley with a chance to get it away. Russia's throw. Papayev with it, and now Kuznetsov. Parry really hustling him. And now Hurtilava brought down though by Clark, free kick. I must say there was nothing malicious about it, but the referee was quickly on the spot and quite rightly gave the Russians the free kick. Hurtilava. A little toe poke there. To Papayev. Hutsilava again, a little flick through. Towards Angusian, and here's the chance now, and a great save by Shilton from Onishenko. Shilton coming off his line so quickly from the number 10 Onishenko, and really saved the day for England there. Beautiful work by Shilton. The crowd whistling, believing that Onishenko should have tucked that one away. England again, this time with Clark laying it on for Curry. This time Shannon's making the run, and Shannon got ahead to it first. But it's a goal kick, and England looking very lively. And away come the Russians again. And again, it's under Seyev. And now it's with Blockin. I'm not sure whether he got a hand to it, but that was dangerously close to the far post for him. Didn't quite get the touch, but a lovely piece of play again by the Russians with this fellow Blockin coming right in that little flick with the outside of the boot. But now Butyan getting away as the Russians come now to Onishenko. On to Blockin. England with five defenders back, very quickly indeed. Still blocking though. Gone past Maidley, and he's crossed it, but there's McFarland. A couple of times for Maidley in possession now has been uh, found lacking a little bit in pace. I'm just wondering whether he has completely recovered from that stomach upset from yesterday. It may have weakened him just a little. The long ball towards Chivers, but two Russian defenders are there, but Chivers is still in with a chance. Still with Martin Chivers. Muddled his way past Muntian and now with Story to Clark. Just on the edge of this Russian penalty area. It's with Mick Shannon and now with Tony Curry waiting to go. Curry's cross and Clark couldn't quite get to it. Onishenko coming hard for it, maybe with him, but now it's Lobchev for Russia. Story going in hard again, but again the Russians keep possession. The long ball towards Andrasian, Hughes the header away. Papayev. Olshanksky to Muntia. Oh, and the full back for another player was behind him, and Clark was there. That's caught a few whistles from the Moscow crowd. Tony Curry. Played there 
towards Shannon, but that wasn't a good one. Pertilava away to Mundia. England badly needing a second goal because I think as the game goes on they probably will tire a little more quickly than the Russians not quite used to this tremendous heat here but the Russians coming on again there was a deflection now can Blockin turn that in wildly wide that was an unlucky deflection for England and it uh, might have left Peter Shilton a bit exposed because as that shot came in in fact it burst off Tony Curry and Blockin he had to take it quickly, but he snatched it wide. McFarlane to Moore. Russians in possession again. Story going in again very, very hard indeed on Kuznetsov. A flick again by Kuznetsov to Muntian. Moore there, putting it away. The throw to Russia. Monty and number seven with it, Kuznetsov. Cross there again to the fullback, trying the shot just over from Olshensky. So I had a feeling there was deflection on the way, this uh, Russian fullback. A shot there that may just have deflected, but obviously couldn't have done, otherwise there would have been a corner. Instead, Olshensky sees the shot go over, and Shilton takes the goal kick for England. Chivers. Tried to turn it back to uh, Hughes, but only gave it to Muntian. Blockins away on there, Kuznetsov too, here's Blockin. The shot charged down though by the England defence coming out quickly. And here's Muntian again. Played this time towards Onyshenko and Clark coming in there. Kuznetsov with a shot that has again charged down. Peters for England, getting it away now to Tony Curry. And Tony Curry couldn't keep it in. Montian. The Russians now in the last 10 minutes of the first half beginning to look a little more dangerous. Papayev. Kuznetsov. A really great trial of strength for England here tonight in Moscow. Onyshenko. Clark. Noticeable too how the strikers are coming back more and more to help England. That was Clark there. We've seen Shannon back and we've seen Peters back in a very, very deep position. But here's Martin Peters coming forward, but without the pace to beat Lovchev. England's throw. Shannon. Peters. Another goal in the bank for England would be so, so priceless. Here's Shannon again. Well, he's keeping going, Mickey Shannon. And he hits the post! Well, I've never seen such a casual defence as the Russians there, and it's not away yet. But the lines were flagging. So the second attempt wouldn't be counted in any case. But just look at that, how close England were to that second goal. The Russians all over the place. keeping his head and finding Shilford. They were so casual, that Russian defence. It was quite unbelievable. One could only have thought that the whistle had gone. Kutsunava getting high on Shiver's shoulders to get that one away. But now it's with Onyshenko. Kuznetsov, who always seems to be available just outside that area. Kutsunava again. Again, that long raking shot, and Bobby Moore killing it and finding Hughes. Curry. Moore. Can England hold out for the eight minutes to half time where they can go into the shade in their dressing room and at least have a ten minute breather? Here's Peters. Finding Maidley. Story is right up in the attack as well. Still with Mabley, still with Paul Mabley. That's the shot by Mabley, but he's wide. It took an awful lot of effort for Paul Mabley to come from so deep. 
when the day before yesterday he spent most of his time in bed with that stomach upset. Again, casualness in the Russian defence. Peters now for England. Back for Roy McFarlane. And now for Paul Maisie. Peters has gone on the outside. But now Kuznetsov. Again, more casual play in the Russian defence. And now, Tony Curry. Still with Curry. And it's incredible again. The Russians were standing there looking. And Tony Curry can hardly believe how he missed that one. Just look, not so much at Curry, but just look how the Russians are looking and waiting around. One man taking him, and two men hardly filling in behind him. And uh, the ball going wide of that far post. Kuznetsov full of fire in the middle of the field for Russia. Here's Montian coming into it a little bit more now. Seems to have been hiding himself for a long time in this first half, but now the last five minutes beginning to show a little bit. There's Moore. A header away to Tony Curry. Who's got a lot to be pleased with in this first half. There goes the half-time whistle. And it really is so far so good for England. With that early goal coming from Martin Chivers after 10 minutes. The game, England, the uplift that they so badly needed in this terrible heat. And after the bad results behind them. We'll be back with the second half in a couple of minutes. Russian substitutes on number 13 Fedotov as we welcome you back to the Lenin Stadium in Moscow with England leading by a goal to nil. In fact the Russians have brought two substitutes on number 13 Fedotov that we've already seen and number 15 Kozlov but it's England leading by this one goal to nil. There's Fedotov straight away. Olshansky to Muntian. You can be sure that England have had a full ration of salt tablets and massage in that dressing room at half-time in a really determined effort from the backroom men to make sure that they uh, hold this 1-0 lead. And it certainly isn't going to be easy for them because here are the Russians again. Block in. A back heel. And it's Shannon. Showing a lot of fire and a lot of pace but taken out of the play there by Lobchev. And a free kick to England. Mavis free kick to Clark. Still Clark. Played on now for Curry offside. Kapluchny back to Rudakov. Papayev, Muntian, Papayev with the throw, Fedotov to Papayev, Kaplichny, Papayev, Lovchev, and now Maigley, and now here's a good chance for England, there are three men up and there are only two rushes back. That's the ball for Shannon, and he could never have been offside. But the East German uh, linesman has given him offside, and Russia gets the uh, free kick. There seemed no way that Shannon could have been offside when that pass was made. Lobchev now for the Russians, picking up pace as he goes along the shaded area of the Lenin Stadium. And here's Bobby Moore. Curry thought about the back pass, but the way was barred. A long ball again. Very accurately played once more by Tony Curry, having a very good game indeed. Clark finding Shannon, and still it's Big Shannon going on. Here's a great chance for Shannon. Here's a great chance. Oh, and he just couldn't get it in the end. And the Russians, three of them, pounced on Nick Shannon and prevented him getting a shot. Maybe he should have shot just a little sooner. 
but again a prime example of how English strikers by going for their defenders are always giving themselves a chance here's Shannon who very nearly made himself a golden chance Curry to Paul Mabley and now for Bobby Moore Chivers Clark's gone on the run for him Story and now Curry played nicely there by Curry for Shannon but a good tackle by Kutsilava but a corner for England the Russians just a little dissatisfied with their side this afternoon or rather this evening and certainly their form has really not been too impressive Curry with the corner for England McFarland is right in there and he's got the header just chipped over by Rudikov where McFarland is always dangerous a good header by him and the big man just turning it over so it's another corner for England McFarland staying up hit lower this time towards Marty Peter Cushin on the go This one for England. Here's the corner by Vicky Shannon. And Kurtilava trying to breast it back. And Rudikoff away off that near post. And a simple goal that gives England a 2 0 lead. So that's the lead that England have really fought for second goal in the bank that could be so important as the tiring later stages of this game unfold in the tremendous heat here in the Lenin Stadium in Moscow. Clark to Story. And if England can get a win here, it's such a good one, such a morale booster. The 2-0 scoreline we see there to take to the next match against Italy in Turin on Thursday. Curry now for England. Clark keeping Buntian off the ball. And now it's with Curry again. Stopped though by Papayev. It's with Block in for Russia. In goes Shannon as well. And there's so much fire about this England side. I noticed beneath us that Norman Hunter is warming up almost certain so too is McDonald in fact so Sir Alf is obviously going to use all the forces he can to make sure that he keeps this 2-0 lead here coming to the game with Chivers this time trying to get a 1-2 going towards McShannon but Russia now with Lovchev the long ball forward to block in And now more. Curry. To Emlyn Hughes. Story. Bobby Moore. Played very delicately and accurately forward there for Martin Peters. Hughes to Curry. Hughes again. England's throw. This time it's Shannon. England taking up some very promising positions in attack. Looking very lively and confident now. And here's Shannon again. The chip there. He tried to get it across to Clark. But the massive figure of Rudikoff was in the way. So Clark is coming off. So too is Martin Peters. I've no doubt they were told by Sir Alf Ramsey to give it all they've got even if they spent themselves early in the second half and Malcolm McDonald 
and Norman Hunter are on for England. The Moscow crowd pretty quiet, and certainly the red shirt inside hasn't uh, given them too much to shout about tonight. Chivers, huge leap there, but straight to Lobcha. Muntian, forward this time, and it's Olshansky. Fedotov to Olshansky. Still the big fullback, Olshansky. And he's given a penalty. He's given a penalty to Russia. Although it looks a bit like a fall by the big Russian fullback, the East German referee, Herr Radl, has given a penalty to Russia, which, if they take it and score from it, surely is going to open it up. Now, who's going to have this responsibility? It looks a bit like Funtian. Funtian, then, is going to take the penalty. The World Cup player that we saw in Mexico with a vital kick that might get Russia back in the game with 20 minutes of the second half gone. And it's there. And that is 2-1. complaining that there was a Russian player well inside the area but that shot was well out of the reach of shooting and Russia now are right back in it and another substitute coming on Mike Somerby I think is coming on for England Somerby on and Shannon off Montian, the man who has scored. From the finish. So Shannon off, some are beyond, and Russia now beginning to pick it up through Blockett. Can England hold them out? There's Bailey desperately trying to stay with Blockett, and he's put a cut there, and somehow Hughes got a foot to it and got it away. And Hughes got a head through it and got it away. There's a shot there and a fine save. Oh, and a marvellous save by Peter Children. As Blockett came in. Tremendous shot in the first place by Fedotov. And Shilton, that was a great volley. And Shilton did well enough. But just look at that as a despairing push away. Russians are beginning to shout. England have a free kick, but they've also got a fight on their hands, which a couple of minutes ago they couldn't have expected. And suddenly there seem to be so many red shirts forward. Fedotov trying a one-two again. Hunter trying to get it away but losing possession. But England getting a free kick. For the foul on Norman Hunter. Or with the free kick towards Mike Somerby. Maidley. Chivers looking so much sharper than he did in... Uh, Poland coming quickly away from the defender there. Maidley. McFarland. And now Hunter. Hughes. Two very good pieces of defensive work by Emily Hughes just after that penalty put Russia back in it. Getting a 1-2 going with Malcolm McDonald and still it's Emily Hughes. And that's a good cross by him and a good catch by Rudiger. <laughs> Halfway through the second half. Fedotov for Russia. To Montian. In goes Curry. Fedotov again. Block it. And now this looks dangerous, but Kozlov missed it completely. Curry, 
wanting somebody to come closer. That's a good ball again by Curry to Chivers. And now for Malcolm McDonald on the left boot, and he's onside. And that was a tremendous shot by McDonald. Good piece of goalkeeping by Rudikov. Onto that famous left peg. He really got clear of that defence again. And whack. Beautifully on target, but a good save. And now it's Russia again. And this is just wide. Benatov, who since he came on as a substitute, has been a constant source of worry. But now Curry for England, taking it up with a lot of space. Some will be playing wide again. Trying to stretch these uh, Russian defenders as far across the width of the pitch as possible. It's Summerby again. The low cross, gobbled up though by Rudikov. Lovchev to Vazadin. Vazadin to Montia. Beautiful skill. Still Montia. Good skills from Curry too. Too high for Jimmer. Lobcha. The Russians now really piling men forward. Oh, that's a good play by Blockin. Sold a fantastic dummy there. That's Blockin. now in action again, a great dummy that he sells on, there it is, on Mabley, giving himself that yard of space. It's with Hurt to Lava. Montian. Lobchev to block it. Still got a lot of pace about it blocking, but Moore read that well. Played for Chivers. Kept good close control there for a long time, Chivers, but now it's with Bobby Moore. I doubt after Poland whether he'll take too many risks himself in defence. That was a simple pass to McFarland. Hunter. Hughes, absolute walking pace there as England come forward. Chivers. Still Chivers. Can he let one fly? He can, but it's straight at Rudikov. It's a bit more like the old Chivers bursting past the defender and letting one go. But it really is warm work. Kaplichny. Lovchev to Muntian, who really has begun to make his presence felt in the middle of the field, and now it's Vazanin. This time for the number 13 with a shot, and Shilton, and it was bouncing awkwardly. That shot from Fedotov. That's Fedotov. England in possession again with Peter Storey. Hunter to Curry. England's throw. Storey. The long header that's nodded away by Lovchev again as Russia taken up once more with Mutkin. The pass for Kozlov and McFarland shouldering him off the ball. Moore making the clearance to Norman Hunter. Hughes. And now Maidley. Summerby. Finding it hard to get round Lobchev. 
and in fact he must have been niggling just a little too hard in the back on this uh, Russian man in the back four I think he's saying he was pulling the shirt that's Lovchev so it's a free kick to Russia and England now with just 10 minutes to hold out 2-1 ahead but the Russians really beginning to come for them Muntjan who really has begun to sparkle in this second half the long ball beautifully played to Olshansky Bobby Moore again in first for England Kutsilava Kozlov and here's Muntjan popping up again on the left wing a little pass for Blockin this is dangerous, Blockin, yes back away, no, offside offside no goal given because although Blockin did superbly well and it was Kozlov who poked it in Kozlov was standing in an offside position and so England are saved Donald's header. Russia's throw. Vazini is with it. McFarland, another good header out of defence. This time for Tony Curry. Story again marauding away on the left for him. Tremendous energy. Here's Chivers though. Well, he's got past that challenge and he might get the shot in, but it's too high. Once more, it's the welcoming sight of Martin Chivers taking on a defender. Hunter back to Bobby Moore a long clearance but straight to a Russian and it's Vazanin again taking it up for them and now once more the dangerous block in and England look a bit stretched good challenge though by the England defence by Roy McFarland once more Hunter going in so too is McFarland but the Russians get possession again played deep this time for Muntian block in down and injured Hieroglyphics there that don't mean too much to me, and just wide of that far post. So the Russians, very sporadic raids that they are setting up now, but like this one here, they can look very dangerous, particularly down the flanks, particularly with Lockheed, but that shot wide of Shilton and wide of the post. We are now in the last two minutes of the game. And it's mainly for England. Mike Summerby. Mainly the game developed as it was inevitably uh, going to develop into a walking pace. The night has cooled just a little, but the players took so much out of them when the temperatures must have been reaching 90 there earlier in the game when the sun was really blazing down. And England really have conserved their energy well. Story, McDonald, Scott Hughes supporting him, as we come now to the last minute of the game, played back for Story, Moore is behind him, it's not a time for tricks though, and Moore plays the safe ball to me, and there goes the final whistle, Bobby Moore, the last kick of the match, it is 106 cap for England, equaling the record of Bobby Charlton, beating the 105 of Billy Wright, and takes England to a 2-1 victory under the most trying conditions here in the Lenin Stadium in Moscow. Fierce heat, but England got off to that good start with a goal by Martin Schumann. They looked good because they attacked well. Herzlava an own goal made the second one, although the scoreboard gave it to Chivers, and then Munchen a penalty, making it 2-1 to England. Now let's go back to London and join Dickie Davis.
Well, a sound and encouraging performance there by England, and as Brian had said earlier, a morale booster for the next match in Turin against Italy. Let's bring in our two experts, Jackie Charlton and Gordon Banks. Let me ask you first, Gordon, for your overall impressions of the game. Well, I thought this was a great improvement on the, on the game against Poland. I thought everybody gave a lot more to this particular match, and uh, certain players were outstanding. I thought Curry, in particular, had a marvellous game. And uh, I thought uh, Martin Chivas played far, far better than did in, against Poland. Jackie, you forecast that England were going to beat Russia 3-1 before we saw the match. Uh, were you happy with what you saw? Yeah, uh, I thought it was 2-0, actually. I didn't agree with the penalty at all. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about we'll that later on. We'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, yeah, I was delighted with the game, particularly the way that we got Curry in, who start to feed balls forward for the three front runners. Their strength, their great strength, is the fact that they're great forward runners. And they need something to go after and to chase and to fight for. And he gave them this today. This is why we're three, there were two strikers, Shannon and Chivers, played really well today. Well, England struck early and they uh, had a good first goal. And we saw Chivers looking much more aggressive and persistent. We'll, well pick this, this goal, the, though, up in the midfield with Story. This is the sort of ball that Chivers loves. I mean, he saw something there. And he uses his strength, actually, to go for it. Watch when the ball's headed in. Martin Peters heads it in. Now, Chivas can see the ball and watch him shrudge off this fella. He just shrudges him off. His strength there, he can see where the ball is, he fights for it. And he knew what he was wanting to do with the ball when he got it there. But it was sh these are the sort of balls that he thrives on, things that he can see and go after. I thought he took the goal very, yeah, very well. He was brave, wasn't he? He got his foot in there. You know, get in and clear it. And he, he, he yeah, actually, I must challenge. say, Shannon and Chivas look very sharp today, much sharper than we've seen them for. Because they weren't expected to come off for every ball and have to play little short balls and turn. They were allowed today to turn and run, and people were trying to give them the ball in front of them so they could go at the target. Mick Shannon, on two or three occasions, took on people in unbelievable situations outside the box, but he was running at them, got a rebound or two, strong, fit lad, and he fought for them, and he got the rebounds, and he went into some great positions, and so did Chivers. They let Alan Clark do most of the coming off today, didn't you think? Yeah, I thought, you know, the supply, we, same as Jack says, you've got, the, you've got the strong runners up front, but the supply came to them from midfield, which was very, very important, you know. Actually, England's second goal bore some resemblance to the first goal that Poland scored against yeah. England at Katowice, but this one came from the corner, of course. Well, this one is a particularly good one for Martin Peters because he takes the fullback away with him towards the ball and then deliberately lets him go. If you look, the lad behind who it hits, only seized the ball in about the last 10 yards because it came through two people. And in, in fact, you know, if anyone was to blame, it was the goalkeeper for not covering the near post. Yeah. I don't think the fullback knew much about it. But Martin Peters did well to take the fella to the ball. The position uh, taken up by the goalkeeper there, Gordon? Yeah, I thought the same as you. The, 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 the fella just behind Martin, uh, Martin Peters couldn't see it until the last minute. But I thought the goalkeeper must have known that the, um, the, the, the player in front of him was going to get the ball. Uh, but he seemed to go behind him. I thought there was a little bit of misunderstanding there. And I thought he should have been covering the near post rather than covering the, the player. Jackie, you said earlier that the score should have been 2-0 because of that penalty incident. There was no doubt at all that it was not a penalty in your mind, was no, there? No, the fellow knew that he wasn't going to get through. But he, he knew if he could get the ball through and try and follow it. When he comes inside here, he got away from Emlyn and then he turned inside. He realises now he's not going to get into the space. But watch, he starts to dive even before he gets to... Uh, yeah, the story. And he was making a dive before he got there. Story realised he was going to do this and tried to get out of the way, put his hands in the air. But it uh, unfortunately gave a penalty. Yeah, I think he conned the referee a little he bit. He conned there. everybody there. He knew what he was trying to do and he got away with it. In fact, it went the right way. It was a bit unlucky, yeah. Uh, a bit unlucky, he nearly got it. Uh, Shilton, it, uh, how impressed are you with Shilton now? Very oh, impressed, Gordon? Yes, Sam, he's, he's settled into the position very, very well and he's really proven himself. You know, Actually, now the goalkeeper's had too much to do today, really. No, he didn't, no. but what, what the Russian goalkeeper had very little to do. In fact, I don't think he had to make a save in the game apart from one that Martin Chivas hit. Uh, obviously, we've seen a lot more than the people at home because we saw the whole match this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. But Shilton had two or three saves. One ball I kicked up in front of him and he, he, knocked, him down, he knocked it down and then he went after again and flicked it away from the fellow, which we saw in slow motion, I believe, uh, earlier yeah, on. Yeah. That was a tremendous save. You talked about Curry. You were both very happy with his performance uh, yeah, yeah. today. In, in every sense, actually, because he was pushing those balls up and he was also winning balls. Well, he came, he came back and he did his job in midfield. Like, he put himself between the man on the ball and the goals all the time and he, he kept them away from the back four. He didn't let them get at the back four. 
and uh, when he was called upon to go in the back, he was he, he did it wonderfully well. Some of his balls were great, you know, he's, uh, he was tremendous. This early ball that he puts in here was a great ball because he, he saw the people coming to the near post and put it in really early. I think Mick Shannon was probably six inches away from scoring a great goal there. Yeah, it was a very unlucky. I don't think the goalkeeper would have known much about it if he had just got a flick to that. But it was an early ball and the sort that I like to see people put in. But his control at the back and that was great. And he hit some this really gives a long, long ball for Clark here down the right wing. It's a fabulous ball, it really is. And this is the thought this is the sort of thing I thought was missing against Poland. We were I thought England were playing too many short square balls and the build up was very, very slow and methodical. But this is where Shannon showed his strength in, in his running forward. He took on about three people there and it, it was sheer strength and he was dead unlucky that he didn't get his finishing shot in. He was, yeah. It was a good effort, that really. But a strong runner forward, Mick Shannon, and, and great at this, you know. These are the sort of balls we've got to give these three strikers to get the best out of them. That's about, where their strength lies. What about the Russians? We've, we, you, you were fairly disappointed, I imagine, in the way they played. Certainly the back uh, four were uncertain and confused at times, weren't they? The, they didn't do anything in the first half. I, you know, England dominated most of the game, picked up everybody. I don't know, Jack. I think they said what everybody said they were going to do in the press. You know, the manager and the coach had quoted that they were going to go forward and, and go for goals. I thought they did this. I thought they pressed forward, especially the midfield men, to support the, the front runners. But fortunately for us, England were, looked very strong at the back. I thought they got back in numbers and I thought they picked up tremendously did, well in time. Let's just have one final word on Bobby Moore. Uh, what about his performance today? A very quick one. He's uh, answered Bobby. his critics. Uh, he did nothing yeah. wrong, had a great game. Tremendous game, Bobby Moore. Never put a foot wrong. He's made his mistakes. I think he's learned from them. Will he get his 107th cap, you think, against Italy, Gordon? I'm sure he will, yeah. Playing like today, I'm sure he but will. You think they'll play him, do you? I'm certain they'll play him. No, I don't think Alpha will play him. You don't think so, Jack? No. Do I don't think Alpha will play him. He's proved a point that Bobby's still one of the world-class players he's got. And uh, to throw him open to the Wolves again, if, he, if anything happens against Italy, you know, it could do irreparable harm. I think he'll get his 107th cap, but I think it'll be next year. Well, thank you very much there. indeed. I must say, thank you very much, Jackie. Thank you very much, Gordon. Well, we were talking about the match against Italy, and you can see that only on ITV on Thursday evening at 10.30. I hope that you'll join me at Nottingham for some tennis during the week, the John Player Tournament, uh, afternoon live and highlights in the evening. I hope that you've enjoyed our match against Russia today. Let me remind you that Russia were beaten by two goals to one, and good night from us.